Hey guys, welcome to Sir Ant's Retro Gaming Garage. Um, it's cold, man. It is freaking cold. It is almost May and it was snowing the other day. Uh, it's freezing. So, as such, it's uh, not as fun out in the Retro Gaming Garage as it should be, but that's okay. That's okay. I wanted to share something with you I found uh, the other night, which just blows me away. We're, we're looking at it right now, actually. Um, I've gone through so much trouble to find emulators, to build emulators, to um, get ROMs, scrape ROMs, go through all the trouble of, of making a, an emulator system work. And last week we looked at a site that had 1,100 games. Um, it was kind of kind of interesting you know uh, there, there was a lot of stuff there and again you didn't need to actually download anything you could just play right there on the site with a tiny download here we are again this is exactly the same deal however this kind of uh, blows me away a bit um, if you look like right here I'm just uh, oh, sorry where are there we go I'm right here at retrogames.cc I'll put the link down below this is just their main page so you're looking on the page here. It looks typical for these types of things, you know, with um, Super Nintendo, Nintendo Genesis, Game Game Boy Advance. Then you see Nintendo 64. My Pi 4 struggles with uh, Nintendo 64. How the hell can you play that in a browser? Really? So that's interesting. You know, and then you know, PlayStation. Tekken 3 from PlayStation. Really? Really? Uh, to get decent running, play, even PlayStation, you've got to have a, a pretty decent setup going. You know, you've got to uh, at least have a Pi 3 or 4. You should, you'd ha need to set it up properly to make it look good. But um, this is crazy. So when I look here at the top, you see retro games and you see Nintendo, Sega, NEC. And you think, okay, well, that's a few PlayStation. Wow. But then you go into Nintendo and you've got NES, Super NES, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, N64, NDS, like a bunch of the different Sega systems, NEC, some PC Engine, Atari. This is kind of cool. I like this. It has Atari starting at 7800. It doesn't go all the way back to the uh, 2600 and the 5800 or 5600. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, power to it. There are so many emulators out there that do those anyway. They're, they're a dime a dozen. Um, I'd prefer to look at the more modern stuff. PlayStation and, of course, Arcade, the MAME and uh, FBA games. And it's just insane. You know, I'll just click on Arcade, for example, and... Um, how many games are on this page? I don't know. I'm not going to count them all, but there are 95 pages of games under arcade. All right. Let's just for shits and giggles, look at PlayStation. Okay. PlayStation again, huge list. And then there are 14 pages. So there have got to be at least two, 300 games here. Probably the same for N64 as well. Da, da, da. Again, oh, pardon me, huge list and then 20 pages of, of games. So 400 games maybe, because I'd, I'd say there's at least 20 on a page here, but uh, yeah, crazy. So let's start here. Instead of going to MAME and Nintendo, Super Nintendo, we know those work relatively well. We've seen them on uh, the other platform that we were looking at. This game, 1080 Snowboarding. Now, this one I have had problems with. Um, even on my Pi 4, the animation screws up at the beginning right off the bat. And even if you can navigate your way through the menus, by the time you get to the actual gameplay, it's unplayable. You can't see the screen. So for 1080 snowboarding to work in a web browser is nuts to me, but let's see what happens. Okay. I think this is interesting. Notice how it says play now, but there's nothing really here. I'm sure there's an ad loading up right now that is being blocked by uBlock Origins. So there we go. Download the game core. Okay. 98% done. And now the game data. So I think this is the same type of deal where it kind of loads into a temporary storage on your system or in your memory, the game itself and the emulator. And then when you stop, um, it uh, deletes itself. This X here is a guaranteed advertisement um, that I don't see because of the blockers. So that's kind of nice. <clears throat> so there you go. 
so far so good. Um, it is loading up. Let's see how it's uh, how it plays. Okay, listen to that. You can hear that stuttering, and that makes perfect sense. But this is already a hundred and fifty times better than I was getting on my Pi Four. Pi Four, I could hear the music okay, but there was no picture here whatsoever. Nothing. Any time that the animation was up, there was no picture. So let's just uh, bla I'm just going to keep blasting the A button until we're on the track here. Yeah, da -da -da -da. Oh, you'll be perfect. Great board. Let's go. I'm not great at this game, but it is a fantastic test. Let's go full screen too. This as well, you can change the settings so you can run in different resolutions in full screen, but for a browser, that looks amazing. Keep in mind, this is a browser on a uh, third generation i5 laptop that I've had for years and years and years. Oh, why did I tank? I always lose on this game. Like I said, it's just a good uh, graphical test. Yeah, and you can hear that music chunking. But... I would call this playable. I mean, it's not fantastic, but uh, it's definitely playable. Am I catching up? That's never happened before. I'm coming for you. <sighs> not like that. Oh, no, not like that. I suppose I could stop speeding, too. To my death. Woohoo! I don't know how to do tricks. <laughs> I don't even know how to do not tricks. Alright. Okay. Let's catch him. Come on. Enough mucking about. Oh. Not a shortcut. Yeah, I ain't catching him. He's probably already done. Or she. I don't know who I'm racing. That's just going to hurt. Yeah, no matter what I did there, I was going to tank. I don't know how to do tricks, though. Oof. <laughs> what did I do there? That was a trick, right? The dead stop in the middle of the uh, the hill? Seem tricky to me. All right. I don't want to do any tricks. I didn't fall though. That's a trick for me. Oh, there we go. I almost did a trick. Oh well. Anyway, I'm gonna hit escape and back out of this. Obviously. Oh, pff, I guess that was the end anyway. Thanks. Not even you suck. It's just retire. You're done. So, the fact that it actually works through a browser is amazing. It's playable. Is it fantastic? Mm, no. But uh, let's just, for shits and giggles, try um, Mario Kart 64. Hello? All right, here, let me turn this up a bit now. Da, 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 da. Close the ad, I don't see. That looks pretty good. Oh. Little bit of stuttering in the sound. Sure. Nice and smooth. Ooh. It was nice and smooth in the menu, but then you heard that. Dun, 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 That's cool. Oh, let's be Peach. Let's go. A little bit of distortion in the middle of the screen. You can see there's kind of a line running through the graphic there. But, uh, overall, super impressive. Yeah. I have no idea what I just picked. Once you get, oh, there we go. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Hi. 
Nice. Oh, princess. Now, of course, on a beefier system. Uh, you could jack the uh, the resolution up way higher. But, you know, for kids, you got some kids that are bored during COVID, during the lockdown, got nothing better to do, or <laughs> you yourself, and uh, you don't want to invest in a gaming computer, or if, if you can get the parts for a gaming computer right now anyway, uh, this will run literally on anything. It'll run on a Chromebook, it'll run on a... 10 year old laptop like pretty much anything that has a browser and half decent internet speed i suppose if you don't have decent e internet speed ooh, geez you just gotta touch that guy then you're kind of uh pooped. okay so nintendo 64 works surprisingly well i mean that does that does uh shock me that's just for i mean for shits and giggles look at playstation let's try tekken 3 that's a really good test, I think. Play now. I wonder how long this will take to load. This, I would think, would be a slightly larger data file. There's the BIOS. Decompressing the BIOS. Hmm. There we go. A little bit longer to load on the... Uh, Let's check settings. Da, 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 da. Shader disable enhanced resolution speed hack. Wow. I'm not gonna mess with those at the moment. I just want to see how this runs stock, like right out of the box. I've got great emulators that run things fantastic. But this is cool. I mean, God, I've I've had ever had one of those super boring jobs and you just wish you had a video game there, but you didn't. <laughs> Here you go. As long as you've got an internet connection. Uh... Nah, I go with Kitty. Big King. Da, da, da. Hello? Are we starting or did I freeze it with one of the buttons? Hello? Hmm. Maybe this is a glitch. Nope. It's not. It is just taking that long to load. Interesting. All right. Again, it is PlayStation. It would kind of be expected. Round one. Ouch. Rude. There you go. Take that. I'll watch that replay. Chunk Orama. Technically playable, but I don't know. Anybody other than a 10 year old would probably be unhappy with it. There you go. Have another one of those. Paul. Proof of concept. It does work, but eh. So let's go for something that should work a lot better. What do they have in other? Wonder Swan, Neo Geo Pocket, MSX, and MSX2. Damn. It's an unbelievable amount of stuff on here. That one's right there. What is this? This is uh, Super Nintendo. Okay, let's try this guy. 
Let's see how much faster it loads compared. <laughs> Game Data Core instantly downloaded. Ready. Data downloaded. Data ready. A heck of a lot faster, of course. And there we go. Again, we'll go full screen. A little bit of chunking in the sound. Okay, yeah, I read it. Okay, that's fun. That's not bad. Boy, it's been a long time since I played this game. Oh! I don't think I'm supposed to jump. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. I want to jump on that though. Especially on that. Yeah. Ooh. Hello. That's the way to do her. So this absolutely, Super Nintendo absolutely 100% playable. No problem here at all. Oh, I thought I could slide down and kill him. Hello. neat. Here you go, just have another one. I forked it up. No, I don't think I could have got that anyway, though, right? Oh, nope. Ain't happening. Ah. Uh -huh. There you go. It's a Mario. <sighs> um, enormous amounts of games. Enormous. Everything. Classic stuff, new stuff. Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, Pokemon. Way too much stuff to list here. Way too much stuff to even go through everything. Uh, what an amazing collection. Very simple interface on the website. Not a lot of fancy stuff. It doesn't tell you 8 million things about each game. It doesn't have videos and lots of different box art and stuff like that. Very plain Jane in that regard. But um, functional. I mean, everything you could possibly want is here. Free. Um, no downloads. No admin access and if you have uBlock Origins going, no advertisements. So there you go guys, this has been another episode of Sir Ant's Retro Gaming Garage and here is yet another source of free and amazing retro games. 
as you see, I do have the car out today, but I am going to start changing things up in here a bit, and hopefully it's going to warm up a bit in the old uh, gaming garage, because it's pretty freaking chilly right now. But we will talk to you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And if you have any retro games that you would like me to review, or that uh, some sites or emulators or different things that you would like me to share, send me a comment down below and I'll get right to it. Thanks, guys. Thank <laughs> you.